Hi there, welcome back to the channel. And what, you may ask, does a uh, PCB way box, a tube radio chassis, and a pile of white sticks have to do with each other? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is, <laughs> this is me really just playing around with possibilities. And that really is what this is about. It's the possibilities that you have, the doors that open when you have a 3D printer and a PCBWay printing service from PCBWay who are sponsoring this video, and I thank them for it. Having those things in conjunction tends to spoil you a little bit. Actually, it probably spoils me a lot. And the reason is that um, when you have these services available, which until now were unimaginable, you do tend to go overboard with uh, ideas. This one, I must admit, is a bit uh, far-fetched, but I was actually pleasantly surprised by the result. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. One of the things that I always have problems with, as you will if you do radio restorations, is with the removal of wax from the coils that you then need to align. Most of these radios are filled with wax to prevent the alignment from being adjusted inadvertently. Mind you, some people always tend to get that done anyway with a screwdriver, but getting the wax out is sometimes more difficult than actually doing the alignment. So getting alignment uh, tools that will work depends on being able to see what you're uh, supposed to be tuning. The uh, type of lugs that you get, the ends can be all sorts of shapes and sizes. And I've always had a bit of a problem getting some good quality ones because the ones I get tend to be off eBay. They tend to break very easily. And I've tried all sorts of things, including a uh, kebab stick, as you probably all are aware of if you've seen my videos. And I decided I could do something better. I decided I can make my own adjustment tools. Now, all this is is like a little screwdriver, but it's made of the uh, material from the 3D printer. And this particular one is resin print because I was pleasantly surprised the last time I did uh, order resin prints. The hardness of that material is impressive and the um, stiffness is just about right. It is certainly weaker than the ferrite core, so it won't break the core. And that's the idea of having one of these uh, little alignment sticks. And while I was designing this, just really messing around to try and print it out on my own printer, and I'll show you at the end just how many attempts I made, I decided I wanted this a little bit more refined because the one that I did in my filament printer was a little bit rough. So I ended up having to clean the edges. And I thought, let me try PCBWay's uh, 3D printing services in resin and see what happens. And what happened was amazing. It's come out exactly the way I wanted. I'm actually sorry I didn't... Uh, order the, uh, the a combination of different sizes, because all I've got here is a, uh, what is it, about three millimeters. It's fine for most of the uh, lugs, but not for all. So I guess I'll be making different sizes and shapes as I go along and as I need them. But I then decided that since I was doing this, why don't I try and invent something to remove the wax? And that is where this thing comes in. This is a, what is this called? It's a Archimedes screw. It's like a helix, 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 helixical screw that you turn and it's supposed to pull water up from a well. So I thought, well, if it pulls water up from a well, it'll probably pull wax out of the cores from here. And then I went one step further and said, right, let me make these things interconnectable so I can put them together like that. Unfortunately, I misjudged the tolerance on the uh, 3D printing that they do. The one that I designed was for my 3D printer, and I've made the diameter of that hole and the diameter of that protrusion just so that they fit perfectly with my prints. Having done them in resin, they are a lot more precise, and so it's a little bit loose, which means that if I want to use them like this, which was the idea, I'll probably just have to put a blob of glue in there and glue these things together. But the idea is I'll have a tool that I can remove the wax with this side, and then adjust with the side. And it should be long enough for just about every core that I've had to align to date. And I'm going to show you, well, we're going to find out together. I'll tell you what I've done. I've taken these guys here, and another one at the back here, and I've really filled it up with wax. There was already some wax in there, but I've put more wax in. I want this thing to be extreme. I want to see just how well it works. And we'll give it a try. Let's do that. So here we go. This thing is the diameter that I've made this for. The outer diameter is one that I think will fit most cases. So all I do is I put it in. Ha ha ha, beautiful, look at that. Yeah. 
It's coming out. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it literally sort of shoots it out. And, yeah, all the wax is stuck in those grooves. So now, oh, what a messy job. Maybe I can design one that sort of self-cleans as well. That'd be cool. All right. That works. Let me try the other one. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. It works. It works. Now, what I would do is take this end, if this thing was stuck together, which it's not at the moment, go in there, and I think this is the right size, or about the right size. Yeah. And I can adjust it. The wax comes out quite well. There's another one here. Let's try this one. Brilliant. Now this is just sharp enough. Yep. Ah, got it. That's useless. It hasn't broken, so it is working. This is a parts radio, so it's one that I got that has no FM. So that works pretty well. Okay. I like it. So what I'm going to do next, did this damage the tip? It's full of wax, but no, it didn't. No, it didn't. So this seems to be hard enough to to handle that. Certainly better than my kebab stick. Whoops. Okay, I've got my alignment tools. Now, all I need to do is I need to basically make different ones as I need them, because this happens to fit in these three, but it probably won't fit in all of them. In fact, I know it won't, because some of them are narrower than three millimeters. And even if they do get sort of worn away, I can do one or two things. One is I can probably sand it down. And the other thing is I've got nine more. <laughs> So I ordered enough that um, if they wear out or if they break or bend or whatever, I can get, uh, I can use the others. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty pleased. I really am. So other than the mistake on judging that um, tolerance between the printing sizes, I think what I did is I made this six millimeters and that 5.5. .5. So I had uh, half a millimeter difference between them. And that was fine on my rough and ready 3D printer, the filament one, but here it's a lot more precise. So I'd probably need to increase that to 5.7 or something. So leave like 0.3. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, my pro my objective here is not to get you to order these yourself, but just to show you what you can do. And if you've got a 3D printer and you've got uh, the ability to do some prototyping, and as you can see, I've done quite a lot of prototyping on my own printer before I order them. I did some with um, a wider thread uh, for some of those big lugs. And then I did one, where is it? I did a really fine one, but the final one that I decided to go on was this one, which is the same as that. This is a smaller tip. So that would work on, um, on some of the other ones. Is that... And that was before I adjusted the size. So, yeah, these are all rubbish. This is all going to the garbage. This is one that I tried with a very, very thin section on here. The thinner the internal bore of that um, helixical screw, the more wax you can get coming in here, but it then makes it very, very 
easy to break, as you can see. This is too brittle. And this is the uh, PLA, whereas the uh, resin print stuff is a lot, lot better. It's, it bends better, it's more flexible, but it's still stiff enough to use for this purpose. And I do know that I'll be going through these tips. I know that because some of these things are really, really tight. And when you try to turn them, if this doesn't break, that would break. So I'd rather have this thing break than have my core broken because um, there are a lot of difficult things to do on a tube radio, but repairing a broken core in a IF transformer is one of the worst ones that I know of anyway. So yeah, here we are. This is it. This is the uh, little experiment with uh, resin printing these uh, tools for removing wax. Yeah, this thing definitely needs to be self-cleaning. So you see, this is not... <laughs> I'm being stupid now. There we go. That's ready for the next one. And that's my folly. Another one. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. And if you have, click like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I want to thank PCB Boy once again for sponsoring the video and these uh, little gadgets. And I'll see you soon for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now and stay safe.